we have noticed the demographic shifts in our workforce, uh, particularly as it relates to entry level. We are, as a company, I would like to say, uh, champions of diversity in that we recognize the benefits of it, both ethnic diversity and gender diversity. In our we have consciously recruited, um, I'll say with diversity quotas, um, for our entry level entry level population, and I think it's uh, it's starting to pay some dividends with the retiring baby boomers, particularly in a manufacturing industry. Uh, there's not just the the skills and and the knowledge that's learned on the job, the tribal knowledge, the process knowledge, which is really difficult to pass on. Again, which is why we're working very very hard to find the folks with basic levels of STEM training and expose these folks to the folks who are retiring um, early on in terms of the process knowledge, if you, w if you will, to add to the new uh, technical knowledge and hopefully meet, some, meet somewhere in the middle. But it is an issue. More often than not, it's the first child in the family that's ever gone past high school. But these kids work really hard. They are incredibly loyal. Um, they are incredibly smart. They are highly motivated. And their success rate, and I think of equal or greater importance, our retention rate uh, has been far, far above our normal, our, our average over the years. So we think it's a good, it's an awfully good program that's delivering some real benefits for us. As it relates to the need to uh, develop those skills, particularly the STEM skills, uh, something I've learned in, 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 in reading, studying, being involved in task forces, you've got to get them early. Uh, the, the general, the, the, I don't want to say the dropout rate, but the lack of interest in, in those things happens very early, K through 12. Not, you've decided you're not interested in that and then it's too late. If you can get the, those young folks engaged early in life um, and, and, and maintain that interest, that ultimately to me will turn out to be a tremendous advantage. But without it, it's a lot of folks looking for work um, the, who won't have the skills to fill the roles. In terms of whose responsibility, it's both corporate America uh, as well as, to me, it's state and local, state and local government. Uh, not to suggest the federal government shouldn't have a, a role at all, but uh, the jobs are local, the education is local, and um, I just think locally driven public-private partnerships is probably where we're gonna see the greatest opportunity uh, to, to fill the gap and uh, develop the kind of folks we need to do the jobs down the road.